Hi, this is Marty Hernandez, licensed real estate broker. In this video, I'm not going to give five tips, but eight for starting real estate agents. If you haven't watched my previous videos yet, you can check out the link here, somewhere here. These tips are based from my experiences. If you could also give tips, you can write in the comment down below. So these are the eight tips for starting real estate agents. Tip number one is check the fairness of the price of the property. The best way to do it is have it appraised by a licensed real estate appraiser. But in case you're a licensed real estate appraiser and at the same time a broker, it is unethical to do it. So have it someone, not you. To check the fairness of the price of the property, you can check its location. Is it a corner lot, an inner lot? Are the materials premium or substandard? Is the property old or newly built? How many bedrooms or bathrooms does it have? Does it have other features like jacuzzis, uh, extra bedrooms? Now you should be transparent of the price of the property to the seller and the buyer. If the price is too much, it will be really hard to sell the property. But you should also explain to the seller why it is overpriced. If I have a lot of property in Kainta, it's a small lot area, niya, but it's very old. So, it's very old. Sinabihan kayo yung seller na it's very overpriced. Unfortunately, hindi siya nakinig. Siyempre, meron siyang uh, ina-attain na income, na net income sa sale. So, until now, hindi pa rin siya nababenta. It's something that you cannot control as an agent, but you still have to notify the sellers. Again, check the fairness of the price of the property. Tip number two is check the restrictions of the title of the property. For properties being built inside subdivisions, you should consider checking the height of the height limit of the property. Then kasi mga subdivision na hanggang mga 10 meters or something lang yung height ng house. The design na dapat modern yung houses, modern design yung houses, modern zen or something. The materials to be used. And meron sila mga restrictions na dapat kunwari 20,000 per square yung dapat gastos yan. No? So kung meron kayo binibentang lot, uh, my tip is pumunta kayo sa homeowners and ask for these restrictions. Another is check for DPWH road widening projects. Kasi may chance na maapektohan siya ng property. Meron akong hinahandle na property na nalaman ko from the homeowners na magkakaroon ng skyway extension. So for now, hindi ko siya ino-offer sa clients ko because it can backfire to me kapag natuloy yung project na yan. If meron namang informal settlers, you should disclose with the seller who will handle the ano kang tamang term ba? Evacuation na lang. The excavation. Excavation? Evacuation. Naging fossils na yung evaluation. Ah! Evacuation. Evacuation. In case merong informal settlers, you should disclose with the seller who will handle the evacuation of the said informal settlers. You should also check if merong mga napokor lines or meralco posts na pwedeng mag nakaharang sa frontage ng property since it can be very dangerous. You should also check for other encumbrances written in the title. The point is to perform, again, due diligence to the title since it's very important. Due diligence is one of the things you should master in real estate. Tip number three, sharing of expenses. When getting a listing, you should disclose with the seller on how will be the expenses shared. Expenses like local taxes for the BIR, registration, transfer of tax, uh, registration fees, notarial fees, survey of the property, subdivision of title if only a portion will be bought, lawyer fees if needed, broker's commission, extrajudicial, 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 <laughs> 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 Oh, you don't get Extra And also, if needed, extrajudicial settlement like verified petition document. Mahirap na kasi yung on the spot na na close na yung deal to sa kanila and they discuss yung sharing of expense, expenses. Pero of course, pede pa rin since pede mabago yung isep ng seller if konare. Gusto ng buyer na siya na lang mag shoulder ng gento, so it can, can still be compromised. But the thing is, you should still ask from the seller kung ano yung mga gusto niyang pag share na expenses. Tip number four is gauge your prospect buyers. So, when you're gauging your prospects, you should know their capacity to pay, their interest, kung ano gusto nilang 
design ng bahay, ilang bedrooms and all. And you should also know if they're legal to buy a property, lalo na if they're foreigners or not. You should also know yung payment terms nila. So if cash, bank, pag-ibig. If they're going to pay through bank, you should know their banks, kung BPI, BDO, or other banks. For their interest of the house or the property, you should know yung style ng house na gusto nila. Ask for their preferred orientation if it's north, south, east, west their preferred location if gusto nila sa malapit sa amenities, malapit sa gate or sa pinakadulo na ng subdivision. If gusto nila ng along the main road, you should also ask if inyo ilang gusto nilang bedrooms, kung ilang gusto nilang car garages or kung meron silang specific na property na hinahanap. The two important things na dapat mag-gauge nyo sa prospect buyers nyo, first is yung capacity to pay and yung location na gusto nilang property. Tip number five, prepare when tripping. So when preparing for a tripping, I suggest na you give three options for them para hindi naman sayo yung oras and yung gastos ng pag-travel papunta doon sa location. I suggest is to send the details of the properties to be seen sa tripping to the client digitally and physically. What I mean is, digitally, yung isend nyo sa social media if kung sa Facebook man kayo nag-uusap sa Viber through email and physically, mag-prepare kayo ng mga sheets of paper na merong uh, photos ng properties, nandun yung mga details para maalala nyo nila yung properties after ng tripping and maalala kanila kasi meron silang pinagahawakan na something. Also, have enough sleep and bring snacks, water, portable, electric fan. Since sobrang init, so din, ayaw naman natin na ma-dehydrate ka mismo sa tripping mo. Dadalin ka pa sa hospital ng clients. Also, this is important. Kung may kotse kayo, make sure na may gas kayo. Kasi na-experience ko na na sa mismong tripping, umiilaw na yung kotse. You should also take notes of the selling points na gusto nyong ibigay sa clients, kung amenities, facilities. I also suggest na sabihin nyo sila kung gusto mo mag-tripping through rainy season kasi isa sa mga number one concerns ng mga clients if binabaha ba yung property yung lugar ng property so my suggestion is dalhin nyo sila kapag umuulan para makita na nila kung binababa yung lugar o hindi. I suggest dalhin nyo sila sa best route yung hindi masyadong tinatraffic yung hindi masyadong lubak pero of course disclose nyo sa clients nyo na marami pang alternative routes Step number six is build rapport with your clients. Build a strong relationship with your clients. Uh, share ka ng mga hobbies mo, interest, para magkaroon ka ng a little personal relationship with them. Baka sabihin kasi nila masyado kang seryoso, hindi ka masaya kasama. But I suggest refrain from talking about religion and politics. Since very sensitive yung topics na yun, baka magka-clash pa kayo ng client mo, baka hindi pa bumili dahil lang sa two topics na yun. So, ask for their hobbies, kung magilig sila sa sports, video games, news, and all technology. It's always great to build a great relationship with your clients since pwede nyo pa rin sila makantransak in the future. Ay, hindi na yun ba sinabi ko? <laughs> okay. Tip number seven is take some time off. So, hindi naman pwede yung puro work na lang, puro real estate na lang. Mag-vacation ka din, magpahinga ka din para mawala yung stress para mas maging focus ka in the future. Pero my tip kapag nag-vacation ka, you still notice the background, yung surroundings nyo, yung real estate, yung mga bahay, yung mga finishing, yung mga materials, ganun. Para at least habang nag-vacation ka, productive ka pa din. And kung mag-vacation kayo or if you're going out of town, uh, kung meron kayong official page sa social media like Facebook, i-post nyo na hindi, ka avail avail hindi kayo available at that time para hindi kayo kulitin ng clients and all. Pero if ever kulitin kayo, sabihin nyo sila kung kailan kayo babalik para alam din nila yung timeline. My last tip for this video is tip number 8, invest in yourself. So when you're investing in yourself, you should know your weaknesses. So in my case, ang weakness ko is public speaking and anything about kausapin yung client. Diba? It's it's very weird na napunta ako sa real estate since yun yung Number one weakness ko, kaya nga kumuha ng computer science para dun lang ako sa gilid, ko computer lang, wala akong gustong kausap. But, uh, nagbago yung mga circumstances, naging real estate broker ako, so it's a thing I have to accept na kailangan ko yung hone yung skills ko, so I have to practice every day. Mag-download ako mga ng app, kung paano mag-speak better publicly. Tinatry ko na rin kausapin yung sarili ko. Minsan mukha na akong ewan. To be honest, parati kasi akong maraming iniisip. So, so imbes na isipin ko na lang, kausapin ko na lang sarili ko. You should also ask for help sa mga professionals. 
kung paano nyo ma-improve yung sarili nyo, it's a great investment for you, not only in real estate but in life in general. You should also listen to constructive criticisms. So, since nag-start ako ng mag-post ng videos, marami nagka-comments kung ano yung mga dapat improve ko, mga real estate terms, mga designs, something about interiors, architecture. So, naintindihan ko naman, I don't take it personally since alam ko naman na I still have room for improvement. I take those criticisms to improve myself. And lastly, to, in to invest in yourself to be better in real estate, watch my videos. So, those are the 8 tips for starting real estate agents. If you have comments, suggestions, or violent reactions, comment down below. Please like the video, subscribe, and click on the notification bell to get notified. This is Marty Hernandez, licensed real estate broker, looking for properties for you in Gazette and Pasig.